All right, hey you guys. So I kind of had a lot on my mind, and well, let me introduce myself first. So I'm Devon Gorham. If you guys don't know, welcome to my channel. Yada yada. We got a lot of stuff: short films, vlogs, comedies, dramas, all that. But um, today's video, I kind of want to talk a little bit about um, a little bit about history and a little bit of like kind of my greatest fear. So like I've been researching a lot about Vincent Van Gogh or Vincent Van Gogh, if if that's how you guys want to. Uh, Talk about it, but um, just hearing the story about how he like, how his work wasn't like respected, like really just like it really just like dawns on me because like I feel like that's how a lot of people feel too. Like a lot of their work isn't respected until you die. Like that's what happens a lot with like Tupac and Biggie. Like when when they were when they were around, like they were they were good, they were cool, but like nobody wasn't calling them like the greatest of all times and the it man and it wasn't until after they died people was you know listening back to their stuff watching their interviews and like really pay attention to who they were and what they sound like you know then they're like oh okay like these guys are lit these guys are really talking the type of talk that we need to hear and because the fact that so many years have passed and their words and songs and stuff still hold up now people can say oh greatest of all times and they're legends and all that so death in a weird way death does add like some weird like like higher like promotion of like your art and like exposure and you know and all that which is which is crazy but um yeah i just so it is without <laughs> backtracking i was um watching some some documentaries and and looking at some photographs of vincent van gogh i'm, I'm american so i'm gonna call vincent van gogh instead of van gogh um so it's just Oh, like he, he wrote from like pain like he wrote what he know like all of his paintings is like people working people were like just like the sadness of like the world around him like in to, to get that perspective it's like man like and just knowing that like he never made a penny like and he was poor his whole life knowing that he like he never made a penny off like his hard fucking work shit that he spent his life doing like he never made a penny like alive and then now all of a sudden he's dead and everybody's getting rich off of the stuff that he couldn't <laughs> get a penny for you know that's that's just wild like i still like i get so freaked out just hearing that like man like if that don't tell you like how fucked up the world is like i don't think anything could, could get you to think that um but yeah, like he did the the scary night, um, when he was in the I guess the mental institution, he did the scary night, and I was like, man, and that, that's a good painting too. But um, one of my favorite paintings um that he did was like um this um one his last painting that he did where he showed like the the um the, the workers in the field. I think it was like um two boys they were just like working in the field. And I was like, wow, like that's just like I don't know, cause like the best shit and art comes from like your own experience and what you know i think any any art any art teacher or art institution will tell you that like the best art comes from like what you know and like it comes from like your experience like that's why like um music that like people actually live through and, and, and wrote from their own experience that's why those type of songs like live on and that's why some Tupac songs live on that's why a lot of like you know Drake songs you know some of his quotes get really um quoted a lot on like Instagram and all that stuff it's just cause like people can really feel it like we're talking about love or talking about you know parents or you're talking about like sometimes you feel sad or whatever just things like that like people people can really feel it especially if they can see that it's genuine so <laughs> yeah so that's like that'll always work in, in in art too and it's like man 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 i said i don't know i think i don't know i think he should ah, damn i don't I, I kind of don't know how to say it like i mean i'm not gonna say he's underrated because he he got like he got the recognition but like damn i wish people would just would share it would talk about it more even though like he he's He's talked about still in the art world. I don't know. I just, 
I don't know, I just want more people to hear the story, I guess, because I don't know, that's just, like, that's real shit, like, putting all your work into something, and then, like, once you die, then people be like, oh, wow, this dude's really, really good. Now, you know, to play the other side of it, I don't, maybe everybody hasn't saw his work, you know, because it wasn't until he died that his sister started promoting his stuff more, so maybe he didn't promote it as much probably that's maybe why it didn't maybe take off i'm not 100 percent sure but like it's still though <laughs> it's the story that he was you know he had to work in in the the mine whatever you call it, mine fields or mines the ruin whatever man just spending all that day just like working and like he had a really close relationship with his brother and just i don't know man everybody can just I don't, I don't know how you can look at it if if you can look at it in like a if that can be looked at in like an inspirational way to where like oh you can leave your imprint on society you know and, and have your your legacy be, be left off or you can that can be looked at as like a a fuck man why should I like do all this work if like nobody's gonna respect it while I'm here I mean that's kind of a little bit how I felt I'm like man like if I'm if I do all these videos, right, talking about, you know, the relationships that I had, the situations I've been through, people I met, all my memories, all, my, all the things I want to talk about, all my feelings, all my opinions. If I do all that and, like, I never even get close to where I want to be, like, my whole life, and then, like, after I die, that's when people that I'm, like, I've been people that I've been ignoring on my stuff that's when they like take a look at it that just will like fuck me up like a lot but I mean so that can be looked at it two ways I'm just like man I, I think I'm in that like transition point because uh, I'm I was in the second one the whole like man nobody's gonna appreciate it work until I'm dead now I'm kind of like on the just I want to leave like a big imprint, you know, even if like nobody watches this stuff, do all this stuff while I'm alive, like, you know, when I'm dead, like finally, like all these videos and how I was, everything's going to make sense and, and what I want, my message and just my style and, and my voice, my imprint, everything's going to make sense then, whether, whatever that the numbers or the, the, whatever, whatever is going to make sense then. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, you know, <laughs> however that plays out, man. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working it, man. Keep working it, man, as I see fit. I'm sorry, I could swear like a doll. Yeah, man. I just wanted to come over here and talk a little bit about that, cause and I am planning on um doing a few other uh doing a few other um artists and, and historical figures, um, cause I've just been researching how much artists like I did Van Gogh, I did um uh, some Andy Warhol stuff, um. And the world, like I, I like, um, I like his stuff. He does a lot of like um, pattern kind of work, but just what draws me more to to Van Gogh stuff is just like, like he saw he draw what he's seen, and like his selfies that he drew, like he never drew like himself smiling, like he or he or he. <laughs> I'm sorry, he drew himself always just like with a serious face, and like. It was crazy and like he was like one of the very few people that started doing portraits um pretty crazy pretty cool too selfie king bruh anyways um yeah it's going crazy but just just like his outlook on life and just like you see the pain and then from the pain from like everything he saw to like where he lived to himself is just man 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 i mean I mean, of course, there's a lot of speculation of how he died, but um, we're not gonna we're not gonna really talk about all that. We're just gonna talk about like his legacy and and uh, his and I, I I really feel like he inspired a lot of people to to write what they know, you know, instead of like drawing what you think people will like, you know, just you know draw how you see the world and the patterns you want to make. So that's the. Like, that's what he did, and that's what made him him. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is. Probably way too long. But, uh, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe so we can grow this thing and do all this crazy stuff. This is, was like a 
chill, kind of unedited, kind of, you know, raw type of podcast thing where I like to, you know, get a little intimate with you guys, talk to you guys a little bit more. But, um, yeah, just let me know your favorite um, painters, and I will do more of these. All right, like, comment, subscribe.